guys. We've been here. Postcard from Sim. I love you, baby. Love you too, baby. Okay, guys. Um, Vivian and I literally just got back from the hospital. Yes. Yeah, I took Vivian in on Wednesday and uh, we're pretty grody. She said she's not looking good and I have, I, uh, I vowed not to shave until after. So we'll give you all the details coming up right after this. Hey guys, so we're back. Uh, we're um, cleaned up now. Vivian is very beautiful. I shaved. Um, we just spent the last five days in the hospital. Christmas in the hospital. Yes, uh, University of Maryland, Baltimore, Washington Medical Center. Um, poor Vivian uh, had some issues and uh, we're going to tell you what they were. So um, today is uh, Monday, December 26th. So we spent the entire Christmas holiday in uh, the Baltimore Washington Medical Center. On Wednesday, the December 21st, um, I was at work and Vivian was here at home. Yeah. And uh, I was texting with her and she was not feeling well. She had I a lot of bleeding. Yeah, you had so you, a lot of bleeding, right? This yeah. Means I cannot, I cannot breathe. A lot of menstrual bleeding, and um, so I text my husband. Yeah. No. <laughs> so she, uh, we we were texting, and she told me that she was getting dizzy. Complain. So the dizzy part tells me that the loss of blood. Yeah, she lost a lot of blood. I cannot breathe to it. I cannot breathe to it. Yeah, she was having trouble breathing. I have trouble breathing. Right, so I, I took her to the ER, uh, the emergency room. Um, I left work at 10 o'clock, 10.30. We were at the ER. Uh, maybe I left work 9.30. <laughs> but by 10.30, we were at the ER. And it um, uh, turns out that uh, she had lost a lot of blood. Uh, she was... Normally, they, they were telling me anywhere between 9 and 12 units of blood is what a normal person should have. And because of Vivian's smaller stature, uh, she should have had about 9 or 10. She was down to 4. So they immediately started giving her blood. And, um, of course, we knew that she had an issue in her uterus. And um, so the uh, on-call emergency gynecologist came over and was talking to us. And we gave him the documents that we had from the Philippines. Yeah, emergency and, information. Yeah, they decided uh, to do an emergency ovary. Yeah. Ovary. Uh, hysterectomy. Um, they also yeah. removed the ovaries. Yeah. Um, they also removed uh, her appendix and also some lymph nodes. Um, there was a malignant tumor in there um, and they cleaned out as much of it as they could. So, you know, since then Vivian's been in the hospital recovering um, until today. Today is Monday the 26th of December. So basically for five days uh, she was there. Um, I slept in the in the recliner yeah. next to her um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Uh, four nights. My my body is hurting. My elbow, my shoulder, everything uh, from sleeping in that darn recliner. Um, so anyway, um, that's where we're at right now. Uh, the tissue that they removed from her during the operation has all been sent to uh, the lab for biopsy and we will learn um, we will learn soon uh, exactly what's up with that if there's any more cancer in there hopefully not but if there is then we'll deal with that 
the other um, the other issue is that I had uh, signed Vivian up for my insurance through my work um, and hoping that you know because we knew she had an issue here and it would need to be addressed um, the problem is that that insurance is not effective until January 1st um, so it's not going to cover anything that happened in December so um, I'm working with the hospital on that I believe there's a, a program in the state of Maryland that may help uh, a new immigrant uh, with the hospital bills but um, the, if you're familiar with American uh, health care system the doctors bill separately from the hospital um, there are three doctors involved so there's gonna be three separate doctor bills there's the oncologist the gynecologist and the general doctor who um, the hospital supplied so Anyway, I may end up uh, starting up a GoFundMe account to help with the bills, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait and see uh, what the damages really are. Um, if they're not all that, you know, if it's not all that, then that much, then I will simply take care of it. If it, if it ends up being a lot, um, then I'll go out and ask my family and other uh, friends and, and viewers and uh, subscribers um, for help um, but right now I'm not asking for any help uh, I'll let you know if that's the case but fortunately Vivian made it through she's doing pretty good she's still a little tired she was cut open they cut her in the same place where she once before had a cesarean section so um, Hopefully, there'll only be that same scar again, huh, baby? Um, but right now, she's doing pretty good. And um, anything uh, anything you want to say to the guys? Hmm? No? All right, guys. Uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Please keep those comments appropriate. Don't be nasty. Um, Thanks so much for watching. Up there, click on Vivian's pretty face and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks again for watching. Bye.